The chances are, if you've gone in a car for a long journey or a plane trip or even on a train or a boat, you've had motion sickness, which is very unpleasant. And it's very interesting as well. It's a funny thing. It really is probably the brain getting mixed messages from your different senses. And, curiously enough, the story starts up in the ear. Because if you look at my ear and go inside it, you'd find a whole mixture of little bits of apparatus there. Let's fade it through and see what I mean. Tubes going in there, past the eardrum, you'll find that there's a set of canals. And it's really this bit here that we're particularly interested in. That little circular rod. In fact, it's not really a rod, although it looks like one. Let's uh, haul it out and see what's happening. There's the eardrum, sound beats on that, and goes through into here, but it's this curly part that handles the sound and gives you hearing. It's this bit that handles balance and makes you stay on your feet or tells you when you're twirling around. And that yellow part is the nerve going off to the brain, taking messages from both of those. Well, these are very interesting. They're really set upright, across, and horizontally. And basically, not entirely, but basically this one handles somersaulting, like this, in that direction. This flat one, like the floor, handles spinning or head shaking. And that one basically handles head tossing or cartwheeling. So whatever movement you do is going to be a mixture of those three particular planes. And those three particular canals, as they're called, will handle the movement. Because each one is a canal. It's a tube and it curls around and has a thick part on one end. In this case, just about there. Well, we can't take that apart any further, but we can go and have a look at a model of one of those canals. And I've made it out of glass dishes. Here it is. There it is. It's circular, like the canal, and it's got the thick part. And if you could open it up, you'd find inside the thick part is a little flap, virtually blocking it off. I've made one out of cardboard, and I'm going to stick it in there on its little sticky hinges so that it blocks that canal off just like that. And in fact, the canal is itself full of fluid. It's full of a liquid, rather like water, so I'll use water here. Pour it into the canal, and then we'll be in business. Those little bits of white things shouldn't strictly be there, but I've put them there to show you the motion of the water as it moves about. Well, let's say you're spinning on the spot. Your head moves, and so the canal moves. But water's funny. It doesn't necessarily move with the container you've got it in. It stays still. So as your head rockets round, the water stays still, and the flap is dragged through it, and so it bends over, like that. See it bending to one side? I'll just do it again. There we are, bending over like that. And as it bends, it tweaks on little cells, they fire nerves, the nerves go off to the brain, and say, hey, your head's spinning round like that. And if I go the opposite way, the water stays still, and the flap bends the opposite direction, and so my brain knows which way I'm turning. But you've probably also done this, stood on the spot, and spun round and round and round, five or six times very quickly. And when you stop, you get a sensation of going the opposite way. You get dizzy, in fact. What's happening there is that if you keep spinning your head, eventually the water starts to move with it. We'll just do that here. And so once you've got the water moving after quite a few turns, if you then stop, the water keeps going round like that and bends the flap. And so your brain is getting the message that you're moving, even though you know you're not. And that's the state of being dizzy. And it looks as if motion sickness is one sense telling you you're moving in a certain way and the other sense saying that you're not. If you're under the deck of the boat, you can feel you're moving, but you can't see anything. And if you watch a film of a car going around some bends like this one, your eyes say you're moving, but your body says that you're not. And probably if you sat right next to the television screen and watched that for about half an hour, apart from being bored, you'd probably feel a little off colour because your eyes say you're moving around the bends and the body says that you're not. In fact, you start to get motion sickness. So that's basically what it is. It looks as if uh, motion sickness is one sense say you're moving and the other uh, says, says that you're not moving. So the way to avoid it is to try and get where all your senses are, are saying the same thing. If you're on, on a boat, get up on the deck. and You can see the waves tossing you as you can feel them tossing you. If you're in a car, sit up the front, watch the road through the windscreen, keep your head upright, and you'll see what you feel. And you shouldn't get travel sickness.